Hi, this is Annette from MoneySmartFamily.com and today, Wendy and I, we're going to show you how to make veggie lasagna. <laughs> Money Smart Family. Hi, we shot this video several days ago and my shoulder was in a sling because I broke it, but it's healing now, almost mended. And I'm wondering if you like this video, can you hit the like button? And if you really want to know more about our videos, hit the subscribe button. And remember that this is a long video because it's a cooking video with several steps. If you look down in the show notes, there will be jump links for each section of the recipe that explains all the different steps. Make sure you leave a comment, whether it's a question or just something you want to share, because I love chatting with you. We are making incredible veggie lasagna to take all these wonderful chopped veggies and cook them. And we've got five different kinds. We have carrots, zucchini, onions, mushrooms, and spinach so you can change any proportion that you want to we're trying to get pretty close to equal portions but if you like any one of these five things more than the other then chop more of it um, i used my cowbell shredder for shredding the carrots and the zucchini but again if you don't have one you can hand chop There's all right let's talk quantities for one pan of lasagna and one pound of lasagna noodles, that there are probably two cups of every vegetable. This is Wendy's pan, and that's what we're gonna fit the lasagna noodles in today. This is enough ingredients for one pan. All right, so I have my eight quart soup pot, stock pot, whatever you wanna call it, and I'm gonna put in a cup of water just to get the veggies going. And that's all I'm really gonna do because the veggies will let water off as they cook. Okay, here is the veggies, the, the broth, the water is starting to boil. How long do you cook it? You, you cook it till it's lightly steamed. It's very close right now, actually. I think, though, that I'm going to throw in more spinach. I was just going to say that. Okay, because like, we knew the spinach green. would shrink down, but we didn't know how much. Okay. Okay. All right, now we're waiting for that to... We're just waiting for the spinach to steam down. We are making the white sauce now for the lasagna while the veggies are cooking. Okay. Um, and so you start the white sauce by putting the butter in. One stick, which is four ounces of butter to start the white sauce. And now we're going to put half a cup of flour in. Okay. Okay, so sprinkle it lightly and as you sprinkle it, swish it around. Okay, go ahead, keep going. Is it soaking up the butter juices? Yeah, it is. We want it's, some... it's kind of looking like gravy. Okay, we want to go beyond that, so keep putting flour in. Okay. We want to, want to go beyond gravy. Shh. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Wonderful. How hot is the heat? It's on like four, four at eight. Okay, perfect. Now we're all paste, right? Okay, yes. It's all in clumps now. Yes. Next is the milk. Okay, hey, that's a great question. Keep going, keep going. Okay, okay, keep going, pour some more. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, okay, stop. Here's actually where I think we're gonna switch to a whisk. And it will it will break it up in nothing flat. Hold on, let me get, get what's on there. there. Yep, what okay. about the back of it? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, see that? Yep. Okay, now. Now you want to watch it get thick. It's going to get thick. <laughs> now I'm going to add some wine to mine. You do not have to add wine, but I like the flavor that my cooking wine makes. Okay. <laughs> so go ahead and dump half the cooking wine in here. Okay. We measured out one cup, half, half of that. So half a cup. Uh, a little bit more. All right, that's perfect. Okay. All right, and I want you to feel this. Okay. It's getting nice and thick, so it, we want... Yeah. Okay, we want the feel of gravy, right? Or when it gets too thick, then we have to add more milk. Okay. All right. 
And I'm going to start putting Parmesan in there because Parmesan is so good. No. Oh. Cheese is always good. <laughs> yeah, cheese is always good. So go ahead, keep stirring. How much Parmesan? And I'm going to say it ends up being about one, one cup of Parmesan for about four or five cups it of... It seems like it's getting like really, really thick. Okay, then we need Should more we need milk. more milk? More okay. milk. It smells amazing. Doesn't it smell good? I'm going to put salt and pepper in now. Okay. And by the time you do your salt and pepper, I'm so bad because I hardly use recipes anymore. I just cook by feel and that's, <laughs> that's not good for all of you that I'm trying to teach this recipe to. But I would say that it's probably a half a teaspoon of pepper and one teaspoon of salt by the time I'm done. You're going to have to play around with it and smell it and taste it. We cooled it down quite a bit. See, it can't thicken until it's hot. And mm -hmm. we added so much milk and so much wine. I'll show you how thick it is, but we're still going to try to use up the milk we have measured. So, okay, so look at that cheese melting. That is amazing white sauce. Okay, Wendy, take over the whisk. Okay. I'm going to add some more milk. Okay. Cool more, it down, so then we have to keep stirring. Are we going to do more cheese and wine? I don't think salt we need pepper? more cheese. Wendy wants more Ginger? wine. Maybe some salt. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe pepper, more pepper. Love the pepper. This so, looks amazing. I know, it does look amazing. And now it's like a gravy, a thick gravy. And this is exactly what we want. We only ended up using half a cup of wine. And it smells amazing. Oh, completely amazing. We're scooping the veggies out of the broth. And you don't have to worry about it getting like every bit of liquid off. But just get as much as you can. Good. Perfect. And the reason okay. you want to get the most of the liquid out. Yeah, the, the reason you want to do that is because um, you're going to have the, the, the white sauce to float between the noodles of the lasagna. So you don't need all the vegetable broth to do that same thing. If you have too much liquid in your lasagna, it won't hold together. The lasagna will all slide apart when you go to cut it into individual pieces. Water is boiling, we're cooking the lasagna noodles. And so we're gonna do them six at a time because if you put them all in, you can't keep track of them, you can't get them out in time, they'll overcook. How so are we cooking them? How long are we cooking them for? We're cooking them for no more than eight minutes. Three, four, five, six. That's it. And what we're going to do is work them to get under the water. And we're going to just set a timer now for six minutes. And we're going to leave them in the boiling water for six minutes. All right, the timer has done. Now it's time to get the lasagna noodles. We want them undercooked. Here they go, and we're gonna rinse them in cold water so they stop cooking. Oh, phenabola. Phenomenal? Phenabola. It's something my grandmother used to say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it means. I was like, I've heard it's Italian. <laughs> this is not this is not, not easy. All right, Wendy, come try this. It's not easy. You gotta coordinate the well, spoon I'm not, I'm not, and the I'm, and I'm, the, I'm, I'm not a Becky, so okay. No, you don't I'll, have to be a I'll, Becky. I'll, 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 I'll try. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's tricky to do. There you go. You got it. Woohoo! Three now. So we got three more. Okay, four. Slippery little. Slip. <laughs> Ooh, she got the last. Uh, okay, five. No, one no, more. The last one. This is like catching fish. <laughs> okay, good. Right, now it. we're gonna take this to the sink. Okay. And we're gonna rinse it with cool water to stop to stop the cooking. <laughs> and why do you only do six at a time? Because if you do the whole package, they'll stick. They could stick together. They could get overcooked. <laughs> you could forget about one in the pot. And there's all kinds of things that could. Okay, happen. we're putting the pan of lasagna together. The first step. First step is to put the white sauce on the bottom. You can dump it right in the middle, and then we're gonna just. Right. I think we need one more scoop. Okay. 
Oh, look how thick it is. That looks well, it's getting delicious. colder. Okay. All right. All right. Now bring the pan over here. Okay. So we're going to do the noodles. Next step is the noodles. Okay. And let me show you how I normally do them. Okay. So you take a noodle. Okay. And you lay it down. Okay. And you want to overlap the bottom. Okay. Because the bottom's important. It supports the whole tray. Okay, and you don't have noodles that go there, so we're gonna have to go sideways. Okay. All right. So do you, do you cut them in half a little bit, or no? Okay. This the lasagna noodles are a little short for this pan, so we're gonna lay it down, and then we're just gonna cut it. Oh, okay. Bam! There you go. Bottom layer done. Now it's time to put the veggies. So take off the top, because those are the ones that are best drained. Yeah. See, there's nothing coming out off the top. Okay. Put a clump here, and we're gonna spread it out. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> well, hold on. Let me show you because like we don't. The next layer is your cheese. Okay. So we we're, we've been washing our hands all day, so they're clean. I'm not gonna mm -hmm. freak out about that. Yep. So you're just gonna take the cheese. Lots of cheese. Lots of cheese. Okay. Get, so you're going to sprinkle till it's covered. Remember, we have two layers, though, and a little bit of this and a little bit of that really okay. adds up. But then we still have the ricotta, too. Yeah, exactly. And we have white sauce. Mm -hmm. Shredded mozzarella. down. Now you're going to put ricotta down. And again, small amounts. Because you can't really spread this stuff. Okay, it won't work to try to spread it. So you want to... Huh. You want to get every, every try to get every part of it covered in smaller clumps. You don't want it too far to the edge. Okay. So typically, how many calories would this be? Oh. <laughs> Oh, Just out of curiosity. I have no idea. You're asking me. How much are you eating? Yeah, it's you don't probably eat the entire no tray. <laughs> it's probably very rich with calories. Let me do this one. You'll do the next one. All right. So you just you see how I'm just doing little yeah. bits of white sauce. Yeah. So because like I said, remember you're stacking layer upon layer. Okay. All right. So you you want to use the white sauce, but you've got two layers to go. So you got to make it last for that. Okay, this is the second layer. We've already put down the noodles. Um, you know, I'm, Wendy's learning. You want to try to keep the 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 guts. This is what I call the guts. <laughs> you want to try to keep the guts in the middle because if you get them all the way to the edges, they will come out the sides as you're trying to get the um, lasagna out of the pan. Okay, now we're doing the final layer. So this is kind of important because after we get the noodles on, we're gonna press it down and even it out. This okay. Is, okay. And whatever noodles we have left, we're going to um, just throw on top. Okay, finishing it off. Layer number five and along the top. Now that little one, we're just gonna throw over, over the middle. Okay? Yum. Okay. And then... Actually turn it with the broken side toward the middle. Because remember, remember you want the edges okay. fin as finished as you can get them. Because... So it looks pretty. Well, not even so it looks pretty. It just is easier to contain the lasagna. <clears throat> right over here. Throw it on there. Now, this is what I'm going to do. And I didn't really show you. Between each layer of noodles, you're supposed you're to squish it. Yep, you got to kind of flatten it out so it, it's even across. Okay. All right. Now, here we go. 
final, final white sauce layer. You're going to put white sauce on, and we're going to use a spoonula to get every last bit out. <clears throat> it's getting kind of thick. It's okay. This we can spread, because look what's underneath it. Okay. So this you can spread. And if we need a flatter spoon to do that, we can. So we'll use the spoonula. So go ahead and get... Okay. Put that in the middle. Put it down the middle, and then we can spread it either direction. Okay. Okay. We can put it across this way, see? All right. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, I can see that there's like definitely stuff in the pan that... Right, okay, we're going to use the spoonula for the rest of it. Okay. Now, I think you need the flatter... Oh, the does little, this look spatula. good? <laughs> does this look good? It does. I can't see it. Okay, so we're just trying to get the rest of it out of the pan, and oh there's a lot in here. I didn't even realize there was that much. It didn't look like there was that much. I know. But we're going to get all of it out with a spoonula. That's like a spatula with its... It's, it's edges curved, and so it's fabulous for cleaning the last bits out of pans. It's amazing for that. Now remember, we haven't cooked the lasagna yet. It's a great freezer meal for a special occasion, feeds a lot of people. There'll be a link to the full recipe in the show notes. It'll be on our website. And make sure you watch these videos next because we've got a lot to share with you.